Number four, the same heat transfer into identical masses of different substances produces different temperature changes. Calculate the final temperature when one kilocalorie of heat transfers into one kilogram of the following, originally at 20 degrees Celsius. So letter A is water. All right, so pretend you have a little sample here of water and we are talking that there's going to be one kilocalorie of heat being added all right, to this uh, amount of water. And you know the mass of this water is going to be one kilogram here, okay? One kilogram. And again, one kilocalorie, one kilocalorie of heat is transferred, and we want to find the final temperature. So I'm thinking, well, I have mass, I have an energy, right? I have temperatures. How are they all related? They're related via this formula over here on the right-hand side, all right? Uh, take a, check out, a, I have a very uh, straightforward video. Well, it's straightforward, but it's long. It's very detailed um, about calorimetry. All right, it might help. So Q, I'll leave the uh, link in the description below. So Q is equal to MC delta T. All right, now just remember we got to have all the standard units in here. So this is for letter A. Um, I also, by the way, need to have the energy value in joules here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert this into joules. Okay, and uh, you might want to remember this conversion. It, it probably will help that one kilocalorie is equal to 4,184 joules. It's probably something to memorize, all right? So I know that this is then 4,184 joules of energy instead of one kilocalorie, they're the same thing. So now, all I basically need to do is then just, you know, plug, plug the values in here and then find the final temperature, all right? Instead, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually solve that algebraically. So this is the final. Remember, change is always final minus initial. Now I'm going to divide out the mass and the specific heat from that side. And we realize here now that we have Q divided by MC will equal TF minus TI. And now I have to add TI on over to the uh, left-hand side, right? So here we will have now Q over the mass times the specific heat plus then the initial temperature will equal the final temperature and here's the formula. All right, beautiful. Now I'm just gonna plug it in. So for water here, uh, the heat again is 4,184. 4, the mass is going to be one kilogram and now the specific heat of that water is going to be found on the table all right, and here it is. It's roughly at, you know, is it's at 20 degrees Celsius, I know, and they're giving us the value at about 15, but that's definitely close enough. So this is about 4,184, all right? Plus then the initial temperature, they told us the initial temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. And you can leave these all in terms of Celsius degrees. That's not a, uh, that's not a problem. So we have 4184. Oh, uh, well, I don't even know why I need a calculator for this. All right, this works out to 1. 1 plus 20 is going to be 21. So this would be the final temperature, okay, um, of the water. Now, the only way this is going to change then, okay, is uh, the heat still the same for every example. The mass is still the same for every example. And the, only, and the initial temperature is the same. The only thing that's going to change now is the type of material, concrete, steel, and mercury. All right, so all you now need to do is basically the only thing that's going to change here is your specific heat. And that means that we're going to do the same calculation, but instead we're not going to use the 4,184. For concrete, let's say, we're going to use 840. All right, for steel, we're going to be using, where are you, steel? 452 there, all right? And then mercury, wherever that is on the table, you would also, you know, you would use then the value of mercury and the mercury value appears to be right about here. And just plug in 1.39. I'll let you guys do that. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Like liter literally, here's, here's the formula. You just have to plug in the different values down here. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to subscribe and we'll see you next time.